so hello guys welcome to my another video in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, hack pokemon go gps without getting any kind of south band for that you need to have a rooted device so once you have a rooted device or you may be in a doubt you just go to the root checker and verify root and if it shows that you have a root access then you can uh, go ahead with the further steps so okay i'm gonna remove that now for this route to work you need to have an exposed installer or exposed framework installed in your device so i'm gonna show you how to do that but before that uh, you have to download uh, device hardware info app from play store so once you have downloaded it just go to play store go to hardware info and uh, just go ahead and install it once you have done that go open the app so here you can see uh, you get all the information about uh, all the hardware information about your device so once you have got that you click on the processor section over here so once you are into the past processor section just note down the processor architecture name or uh, it might be an arm v7 arm into 64 or arm into 86 depends upon your device so uh, once you have got that name head back to the link or uh, which i have posted in the description just go back to that and once you have opened it uh, you will be redirected to this xdr developers page so once you are into that all you have to do is go ahead and uh, scroll down and uh, go to download sections so once you are there you have to download the first thing called uh, exposed.zip from http you just go ahead and click on that once you click on that you will be redirected to run another email so here it uh, you can see sdk 21 22 and 23 so sdk 21 is 5.0 sdk 22 is 5.1 and sdk 23 is 6.0 marshmallow so if you have a marshmallow software or os installed go ahead and click on sdk 23 or oh, here you can see the different architecture cpu architecture if you have an arm v7 architecture type on arm or if it is arm 64 type on arm 64 or into 86 or whatever just go ahead and mine is arm v7 so i'm gonna click on arm so here you have a multiple options with various versions just uh, try to download the latest version you don't have to download this asc dot asc or uh, just go ahead and click on the exposed v86 sdk 23 arm dot zip the last two second one so you just click on that and uh, download it so once you have downloaded all you have to do is go to file manager go to internal storage or drag down to downloads so once you are there you can you'll find all your files over here so since i have already yeah you can say exposed v86 export v17 just go ahead and copy them and type on move once you are there go to sd card and uh, here it doesn't matter where you your paste just go ahead and click on paste yeah, overwrite or whatever so once you have done that once you have done that you have to reboot your device into recovery so uh, this you can do it in the two ways you can directly power off your device and or power off your device or you know like uh, use terminal emulator to terminal emulator type in su press enter once you get a root access 
go ahead and type in reboot space recovery since I already installed it I'm not gonna do this step so once you are into the recovery all you have to do is uh, select the zip from the SD card and uh, flash it so you know how to fly I guess you are uh, you are in the router device you might be well aware of how to flash such things okay once you have done with that all you have to do is go back to the same page or you can uh, go back to another page or wherever you can find just go to chrome type in exposed installer exposed installer so go to exposed installer you can download any ins exposed latest installer so I'm gonna select this one so here it is select a page exposed installer from here or from any other device you can download this exposed installer for your device or oh, actually it's the same for every device so yeah I'm gonna give this description also in the link so do not worry just download it from here so once you are done downloading it all you have to do is go to exposed installer or go to the download section of the exposed installer and once you are there just type in mock mock locations you have to type in mock mock two times and once you are there go ahead and press on that so once you are here drag to versions and go ahead and click on this install screen go ahead and install it once you are done just come back once you are done downloading and installing come back go to modules and make sure the boxes are ticked or checked in so once you are done that you have to reboot your device don't forget to reboot your device the plugins gets activated only when you reboot your device so once you are gone done go 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 to power off so since i've already done this step i'm gonna skip it i'm gonna go press on cancel okay once you are done that all you have to do is go to play store go to play store and uh, type in fake gps free okay once you are here go ahead and install it once you installed it open it now before opening it or just come back here drag down and uh, go to location section and make sure in this you have the first option selected stating a high accuracy gps and network this thing may be different on different mobiles and once you are done that go click on this three dots over here go to scanning and make sure this two are unticked over there so once you are done that just come back come back now open so once you are here open your fake gps So once you have opened your fake GPS, uh, select a location. Uh, I would prefer a location called Central Park in New York. So Central Park. Search. So here I am. I am gonna select a location. Just play on. Press on this play button. Close the advertisement and uh, close down everything. Now let's see. I am gonna go ahead and open. Open this Pokemon Go. So here you can see now I have all the Pokestops and the Pokemon over here. It depends from device to device. And first, your device may struck for a, I mean, the app may not respond for a minute or two. 
After that, it might uh, again come into normal mode and show you all the push stops, etc. So just wait for it. Yeah, here you can see. I uh, have all the Pokemon available, all the Pokestops available. Yeah, one more thing you have to remember is that once you are here, um, you have to go to the developer options too. Just go to developer options. In case you don't know where the developer options are, just go to about phone. Here you can find the bull number. Hardware info. No, not hardware info. Go to software info. And just type in 7 times in the bull number. And once you are done that, you will see a developer options over here. Click on developer options, go back and select mock location app. Make sure you select fake GPS free and all, then come back. Once you are done, you will find it. Now to change the location, you have to go back to the app, change your location, play it back again. Once you are done that you can find yourself in a new location. So wait for the app to respond. So once you are here, you can see all the Pokemon around you. Go ahead and click on one Pokemon. So now you can see. You can catch a Pokemon. Wait for a moment. My device is showing some lagging. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I've missed. Okay, now I'll try. Mm, I'll try one more. Okay, there it goes into the wall. So once it is done. Okay, it came back free again. I'm gonna throw it. It again. it again till you catch that this is one notorious pitch I have here oh my god okay oh come on man Okay, here we can go. I guess this time it won't be coming out. Mashallah. Okay, this bloody thing escaped. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, try to catch some other Pokemon. Uh, the app is lagging because of the screen recorder, so you won't be facing this, so don't worry.
yeah here i got that so you can see guys with this method you can catch pokemons anywhere in the world i stay in india but i caught a pokemon in new york so this thing i'm sure is going to help you pretty well you can now uh, go ahead and uh, now swipe into pokestops and get your materials or uh, pokes balls or whatever you get collected okay since my app is lagging a lot i'm unable to get anything properly but uh, don't worry it won't be same with you so so if you think going into the fake gps app again again is a bit of uh, risk to you uh, the one thing you can do is the one thing you can do is just go back to the exposed installer um, let me cast this pokemon and go, and go back to the exposed installer Just type in the home button now go to the expose installer here we have an expose installer so go to download section type in pokemon dot pokemon go pokemon go gps dash pokemon go rider or whatever you feel like you want to download you just go ahead on go ahead and click on it so once you are into the versions oh i guess there is no version for that so once you are into type on this go ahead and download it once you have downloaded once you have downloaded it go ahead and click on modules and make sure you click on it so the correct word is pokemon go joysticks you make sure you click on it and reboot your device once you have done that oh you can find an app over here click on that open a closed joystick so you can see a blue dot over here for that you have to go to the mock locations again go to general developer options oh, once you are into this go ahead and click on pokemon go joystick Once you are here, you can use this joystick to move around. So this is it guys, this is how you can hack GPS and all. So since I have been using a screen recorder, it's lagging a lot. So it won't be same with you. So don't worry. Yeah, there you can see my guy can move all around now you can see the thing it can move all around over the gps i hope you liked the video if it was helpful for you please like and subscribe my page and help me or motivate me making more videos on this hacks and all thanks a lot